Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I thought I would do a little bit of my new game, TIS 1000, T-I-S. Uh, it is a assembly code programming simulator, in a way. Uh, I don't really have much experience with uh, assembly code, but I have pro coded a few different things before, and this one is quite a bit of fun. Uh, now, I've already gone through and unlocked some of the extra levels and completed some of these, but I thought I'd just start at the beginning here. We'll go ahead and create a new program. Now, the idea of the game is just simply to write code to get your computer to do what you want it to do. Uh, now, in this particular code, we have some inputs, input X and input A, and we just have to move those to the outputs. Now, they already did the output X side here, where it's just moving it the value from input on down to output and we have to do the same thing over here so we'll go ahead and start with the move command so move and then you have to de designate which thing you're going to be moving so we're going to take the up value and we're just going to move that to the left and we'll go over here and we're going to take that that we took from the left and so we'll move oops move right and send that on down and that's all there really is to this one. Down like that. We'll move the up over to the right. And then finally move left down. So you can go through and you can do a step where it shows you exactly what's going on. And you see we get our input right here moves it on over and just goes right on through so we can go ahead and run that and there you go that is the first puzzle solved so we'll go on to the next one this one is a little trickier but basically the same thing we still have our input and our output but instead what we have to do is double the value uh, now there's a couple ways to do this I'm just going to do it the real simplified way we're going to go ahead and move our input which is coming from up to the accumulator, the ACC right here. Oops. And then what we need to do is double that. So the simplest way to do that is to add. And then we're just going to add ACC. So this adds whatever follows to the accumulator. So I'm adding the accumulator to the accumulator, doubling it. And then we'll go ahead and move that on down. And then all we have to do is continue the chain going down. So we'll go ahead like before, move the up, down, move up, right, and then move left, down. So we can go ahead and do the steps here. You'll see it asks for the up, which is 11 moves it to the ACC and then adds it, doubling it, and then moves it on down, which goes right on to the output. And then as that's going, it's doubling all the others. So, And that's all you got to do for this one. Now, there are other ways you can do that that give you uh, quicker cycle counts. This one's a little bit on the slower side. You can see right there a lot of people have done it the other way. It does take more codes and more boxes, so you do end up using more nodes. Uh, that was just the simple way to do it. Now, all of these codes and programming language can be found in the manual, and it's real sparse. There's not a lot of things that you can do with this compared to, say, an Arduino, which I'm very uh, comfortable with programming. I can do things fairly decently on that, and I often find myself wishing that this was more like an Arduino, but it's great to be confined to a certain number of codes. So on this one, we have two inputs, A and B, and what we have to do is subtract A into B and then also subtract B into A. So the easiest way to do that is to simply we'll go ahead and move up into the accumulator and then we're going to also have this one move it but we're going to move it to the left. So this is just going to take in B and kick it over here. This one is going to subtract right. And then we're going to move the accumulator down 
like that. And then we can actually just do everything in this one little box here. We're going to, now, forgive me, this is where I do have to look back at the manual because unfortunately I forgot what it was I had to do. So I need to use the negative command here. So all that does is if it's a negative number, it makes it positive, and if it's a positive number, it makes it a negative. So we're going to negate that and then move the accumulator down again. And then we're going to go move up, down. Now here's where it gets a little trickier. We're going to move up, uh, down, and then we're going to move up to the right. And then this one, move left, down. Oops, typo. All right, so we'll go ahead and step through this here. We get both of our numbers, puts the first one into the accumulator, and then subtracts it, and we get 16. And then it's going to move that value down. And then that first one is going to go straight out to P, which is the 16 like we want. So we'll step that down. So there we have 16 coming out. And then it's going to negate it, making it negative, which gives us our other side. And then move that down as well. And now we click Run, and everything is working perfectly. So let that run on through its whole little song and dance. And there we go. So nice and low node count statistics, kind of on the higher side for the cycle count, but very low instruction count. All right, next one, signal comparer. OK, this one was a pain in the butt. What you have to do if you read in the value from the input, if the number is greater than 0, output G has an output of 1, and then these two get an output of 0. If it is equal to 0, this one will output 1, and the other two will output 0. And then last, if we get a negative number, this one gets the output. Uh, and that is basically it. So what we can do, we don't really need to do anything up here. So we'll just move the value from the up to the down, move up, down, and move up, right. So then, this is the first one that we're really going to be doing some coding with. So what we're going to do first is we are going to move left to the accumulator and then move ACC to the right. So we're just going to kick that on over. Now what we have to do is if output G Output G is only going to get a 1 if it is greater than 0. So we're going to do jump greater than 0. And we'll just do something simple. We'll call it yes. And then if that number does not equal 0, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one real important thing. we got to start this with a start point. So I like to use S because it's nice and compact and it doesn't take up much space. So now if our result is not equal to a 1 uh, for this one. What we want to do is move 0 down, and then we're going to jump back to the start. If I could spell jump right. <laughs> S, just like that. Oops. <clears throat> now, if the number does equal something greater than 0. We want it to jump down here to the yes, and we're going to simply output uh, move 1 down. And that's it. That's all we got to do. Now we're going to do a similar thing over here. We're going to start with a start. We're going to move the left back to the ACC, and then move ACC to the right. So that'll let us have the output over here. Now, output E 
is supposed to get a 1 when it's equal to 0. So we're going to do jump equals 0. Yes. And then move 0 down because this is what's going to happen when the result is not correct. And then we're going to jump back up to S. And then if the result does equal 0, we're going to move 1 down. And that's it. And we'll do the same thing over here. Move left ACC. Now we don't have to move it right, so that equals really nice. But we do have to change what our jump is. The jump for L is going to be negative, so we're going to do jump, uh, what is it? Jump, jump less than zero, JLZ. So we're going to do JLZ, yes. And if it's not correct, we're going to move zero down and then jump back to the start. And then if it is true, we're going to move one down, just like that. So we'll go ahead and step through. So we get negative 2 as our first result. It goes into the first node, moves it on over. It finds that it's not greater than 0 in the first one, so it'll output a 0. The next one tests it, and it goes on through, and you can see it, it works. <laughs> we uh, did program it right, and honestly, this is a lot simpler than the first time I did it. So way simple. So we have 20 instructions, six nodes. We can't do any better than that. And actually, on par for the cycles. I'll show you the, the first time I did that. Uh, actually, pretty much the same thing. It just seemed a lot com more complicated. is our signal multiplexer. I think this is the last one I'm going to do on this video. Uh, so this one reads the values from in, from A, and from B, and then it reads the value in from S. Now it'll write a negative, or it will write the A value when S is negative. It'll write the B value when S is positive, and when S is zero, it adds the two together. So in this one, we can simply move the up to the left, and we'll move the up to the right. Now here is where we're going to do pretty much all of our logic. Actually, I think we're going to do all our logic in here. First thing we're going to do is start with a start, and then we're going to say, oops, uh, move up to the ACC, and then we're going to have it do a couple different things. So what we're going to do is if the number is negative, jump less than zero, we're going to say is A. Jump greater than zero is going to be B, and jump equals zero. Well, you know, I actually don't need to do that. I can just have it do that automatically. So if it's not A and it's not B, I've got to add the two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the left to the AC accumulator. We're going to add the right and then we're going to move the accumulator down and then we're going to jump back to the start. Now, that completes our final value when there's zero. We have to do A. So A, all we have to do is move left down and then we're going to move right to nil, which makes it zero, just deletes it basically. And then we're going to jump back to the start. And then if it is B, it's the same thing but in reverse. So we'll do 
move right down move left nil and that's it we don't actually have to jump because it'll automatically jump on up now we're what these are just going to get one output which is going to be move up down move up helps if I move which node I'm in down and that should have us completed. We'll go ahead and run it. <laughs> ah, now see, here I messed up. Where did I mess up there? Let's go ahead and do it step by step. So first thing it does is move the up to the accumulator. And it is a one, which means we need to write the B value. So it should skip that, skips that, moves the right down now, ah <laughs> that is where I messed up right there left and right I got those backwards I always tend, tend to do that so let's see if that works now Perfect, so we get 21 as our first output. I think I can just go ahead and click play now and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. For some reason I always have trouble with my lefts and rights in this game for some reason. I always get them flip-flopped. But that has us completed right there. And that's the first five levels. I think I'll come back and show you guys the next four in the next video. So see you later.